All right, here we go. This one. Yeah, so this is the new stuff I was working on when I decided to finally move on to a new area. I, I had purchased these chunks and I was about to start because it used to be a four chunk area. I think it's four chunks. Okay, I was using just these two, I guess. I expanded out to try to build more here and then I decided just to make it a square. That's what happened. So this one, this whole city was formed because of a, uh, one basic idea. And that basic idea was that I really liked the downtown area in the city where I live and how the whole city is divided up by, um, by some one lane, one lane, one way roads. They're, uh, yeah, and they alternate back and forth. And, and there's, it, the idea is that instead of having one main strip to a city, which I'm used to doing, this one has two. So when you come in the city here, I really like this. Uh, this recur has the recurring theme of the highway that runs all the way through it. You can see I put trees along the whole thing. It runs all the way through the city in, in a mostly straight line. Um, but if we go back to the beginning here, see there's a hot air balloon tour going on. Um, I also really like if we get close here in first person um, and we get way down like what this highway looks like. like I love the way this looks you imagine like coming into the city like this? You can see the buildings off the front there. You can see this is the, that's the actual way into the city right there. It's only one lane, but that's all it really needs to be because traffic is so light. There's 70,000 people sitting in this city, but um, it's still fairly light. And see, we went up here. There's actually street roads going underneath us. Uh, some of the trees come onto the highway in weird ways like that obviously should not be there, but um, it works fine. And it goes out here across the river. You can see, like, I just love the way this looks. Sorry, the frame rate is really low right now. It's it's not just low for the recording. It's low for me, too, because the city's so massive. There's a road going overhead. We're going to pass right through it. You can see it's as, as it's going. You can hear the crowd cheering back there. We'll get to what that is in a second or in a moment. Yeah, anyway, it comes all the way through the map. Back to the beginning. Uh, when we come off the road here, it's just a standard uh, T-style interchange. Uh, both of these lanes of traffic meet up here, and they, they have the uh, option to split up. Uh, these guys can choose these two lanes, and these guys can choose these two lanes. You see this is called 9th Street. It splits up again into all these different directions. This is a one-way entrance to the city. For this city, I decided not to, not to uh, put any... Uh, toll on people leaving the city this is where they're leaving right here down 7th street um and you see they can just leave without paying but every way into the city has a toll booth so i don't know why they don't really need to be split up into this many lanes but it works so i'm just going to leave it when they come through here down 9th street um it used to be really 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 busy here that's why there's so many lanes um down to ashley avenue here and it goes down 9th Street right here. Now, 9th Street is this really long one-way road that goes all the way through the center of the city, all the way down to the other side to where the river is. And if you look up two roads to 7th Street, it's the opposite direction, doing the exact same thing, and that's where it leaves the city down here. So it comes in, leaves. This middle road here is 8th Street, but it's not called 8th Street. It's called Main Street. The reason I say it's 8th Street is because these streets are numbered. As you can see here, 7th, 8th, 9th, and it's just like a real world street would be. You change the name of it, but it still has um, other, uh, it's still, it still has 8th Street, even though it's not called 8th Street. So in this main street here, you can see has a monorail going down the center of it. It's a two-way road. It's busier. It's got a lot of buses that go down it because there's a bus depot somewhere. I forget where it is. Oh, that's right. The bus depot is part of this monorail station. It's under, the stations are underneath it here. And the monorails, there's one right there you can see. The monorails go all the way around this bottom section of the city. They go down. Where I'm, follow my mouse here. That's the route of the monorails. And I can kind of show it off a little bit. Um, they go this way, down this road, all the way. There's a stop right there. Keeps going all the way through. Right before. loop of my city was this part right here um, and then I, I extended onto it and I just didn't extend the monorail 
but you can see here all that happens there. So all these streets above here and below, like this is 6th Street, 5th Street, 4th Street, goes under the highway. There's a road here that goes underneath. Eden Street goes underneath. There's other ones too. 3rd uh, and Kent Street? Excuse you. At some point, this must have gotten changed. This is 2nd Street. And first street, and then, then there was this this boulevard, which which was the the edge of the map after that expansion, and then afterward I decided, well, now I don't have any more numbers to do, so now this is A Street, B Street, C Street, D Street, E Street. I'm not talking to Siri. F Street. <laughs> My phone just decided to go off for some reason, and there's G Street, and I eventually was going to move on more, and I but I didn't. So this is all high density residential. It's all packed in here. You can see it's a massive area. Well, it's not all residential. This is a office building, I believe. Yes, there's another pair building. But this is like, this is a residence and it is one of those self-sufficient buildings. See all the like plants and stuff growing on the side of it. There's also high density uh, commercial in here as well. It's all kind of looped together a little bit. There's not a whole lot of commercial as you can see. I guess the commercial's all down here, which is not great wall design, but um, one way you can fix that, right, is you can go in and just go. Like I'm not here right now to to uh to work on this city, but um, yeah. So we can go like this will be this will be high density commercial. We'll let them build up there. Um. You see residential district and office district. That's not the best way to design a city. You really should have some uh, overlap. And, and uh, at least residential and commercial should be overlapping. And offices are not bad to have nearby too. Um, this is the Eden Project in the center here, which uh, is one of the unique buildings you get later on in the game. There are a bunch of other ones down below too. This area here I left forested for on purpose because it's kind of like the, all this stuff is going on in here anyway. I can't have a lot of buildings in there. And then this area is... Uh, um, residential and uh, not residential industry and then there's this little uh the winter market over here even though it's not winter i don't know why i did that i just thought it'd be fun i guess park maintenance building this is the industrial area down here all the uh, industrial buildings here i put a skate park in the middle of the industrial area for some reason there's the uh, space center there's a rocket right there i think we can actually launch it right now can't we rocket name eight so this is actually gonna be nine my bad nine you have to name each one which is a little bit irritating but all right launch oh let's not do it from that view And off it goes, I guess. You can still see it up here, but yep, it left, and the whole city gets happy when you do this. And then it'll start building a new rocket here. And see, there's this, the stand going back into the building, the big roller. I think it's a really cool structure. It's called Chirpex. It's based on SpaceX. Like it's just a free DLC they had in the game that added that stuff. But um, still, think it's kind of neat. So over in this area of the city, you can see we have a lot of futuristic end game uh, buildings. We have the ultimate recycling plant handling all of our um, trash in the city. Fusion power plant handling all the power. Uh, Hadron Collider, which is also, uh, it's a, yeah, it's education boost. And we've got this, uh, uh, the warehouse here, which is full of commercial goods. And then, uh, yeah, just random other buildings. 
up here is a residential area in the middle of this area. They're designed to be people that will work in the industrial district. And there is a tram system that runs through this area. See, there's a tram right there. It just runs a big loop around this residential area from 11th Street down to 16th Street. Um, and then this area is a bunch of other buildings, like you see the, the um, sustainable buildings here, high density and low density. There's also, I believe, some uh, commercial buildings in here nearby. Is that these? Those are the office buildings. Office buildings. Is this the commercial? Yeah. The uh, local produce, organic and local produce stores in here. This is just more standard buildings here. This main strip here, um, I brought, brought a road off of it, called it River Road. It is right... I put a roundabout in here later on. It wasn't here for the longest time, but, uh, or an oblong about, technically. Um, this street here, which is River Road, I don't know why that section of it's called Stephanie Street. There we go. River Road runs along here, uh, turns into 6th Street on that side. Um, and there's a lot of businesses along there. Um, and there's also this the Springwood Pedestrian Bridge, which I really like. Now this is what I was I was talking about with uh, how I uh, used to live in uh, near downtown Portland, and uh, how much I love all the bridges that go over the river. So you can see here, there's a bunch of bridges going over this river, even some up here, well, two up here. Most of them are down here though. There's a ton of them. Um, they don't all do the same thing though. This is a train bridge. This is um, a tinier and apparently much busier bridge. This is uh, the highway, those two bridges. This is the pedestrian bridge. This is the main uh, the main throughway for most people in the city. This is a tiny little bridge um, designed to connect um, to the airport, which I'll show you in a second. And this is another part of the big round loop, which is the one that's at the very, 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 very end right down here. And this is just another crossover to make things easier. And eventually I will, I plan on having more roads crossing over more bridges as well. Now, if you go across in this here, you'll see there's a lot of uh, some pretty standard homes. They're they're upgraded. They're they're nice, but they're pretty standard. I built some neighborhoods in here. This was me experimenting with a neighborhood style that I've been doing a lot more now. Of actually, um, when I started this world was before I started watching videos on city skylines and like tips on how to make your cities better. And by the time I finished the city, I had been watching those videos for a little while, so. You can see some of those design trends kick in for me going from strictly a grid layout to these neighborhood layouts here where I keep all the houses off the main road um, and all these different neighborhoods through here. This one I was a little bit more experimental with. This alley here is a one-way road. The uh, uh, And then I also, it's interesting, I think, to put parkways in the middle of streets that people live on but because they can't, if I go from this house, I have to turn left, right, sorry. I have to turn right uh, because of the direction they're coming from. Their point of view would be right. You have to go this way because there's a, there's a median. You can't just go. You can't go that way. So it's not great for a residential area, but it works because this area is small enough that it, you know it's fine if you come out here instead of over here. Um, this bypass here was created for buses because buses will come down here to the stop and they would be leaving the city and going all the way around and coming back. Um, just to leave so now they can take this turn and go down this bypass which is a one-way road designed just to get buses over here to this main avenue here holly avenue and uh yeah we keep moving upward there's another residential area this is one of the newer ones there's the international airport right here uh there's a park and some some more uh houses right here which will probably be some you know not houses i don't know I, right, but whatever that it worked so and the tunnel here, airport tunnel, that goes underneath. I, I like making tunnels that go all the way underneath for, uh, from other areas. If we look at, I know that they're not always the best ever, but this tunnel right here, you can see, goes all the way underneath here and comes out here, downtown. Which I thought was really neat. It comes out onto a one-way street, but it still works. It's a little bypass for people to take if they want to get to the airport quicker, and it used to be a big deal. This tunnel here, is different than this tunnel here. See, this comes up here. This tunnel here, which is part of Cargo Street, goes, sways off to the side and goes across. It goes all the way down to the to the industry area. And once you're in the industry area, you'll see there's also more tunnels. Um, 
the cargo bypass. The Springwood Tunnel goes underneath here, and I forget where that comes out. Um, I think it comes out downtown. Yeah, it goes over and comes out here by the main like 7th Street here. So there's just a lot of bypasses, a lot of tunnels, a lot of stuff like that. And they're not all that realistic, but it's fine. They're, it's ways for cars to get from one side of the map to the other without... It, you know, it's for main traffic lines. Like, if I need to go all the way from the industrial area, I don't want all my cars clogging up the roads that all the other cars need to use just so they can get down to the cargo station. So I have that instead. Um, it's not all that efficient to have trains coming across roads because it stops traffic. The traffic is not bad enough that it's a problem, and I like the way those crossings look. So I uh, I let them I let them cross like that. Um, so they should be able to go soon here. It, they can't it can back up quite a bit because the trains come rather frequently but like this one right here is this is a cargo airport so instead of the cargo ship terminal because there's not a shipping line through my city it's just a river there's no ocean access i use the airport instead so that uh trucks will drop off cargo trains can take it out of the city and airplanes can take it out of the city and i really like the way this looks um then here's a forestry center similar to on my uh on paradiso my other map but this one came earlier. Um, it's a huge area for forestry. All these buildings in it. And there's, and the cool thing is I can also put um, farming uh, farming industry that's just standard buildings on the side too that aren't actually part of this whole forestry uh, system here. The farm district over here is the same thing. It's from the Industries DLC. Um, but it, instead of trees, it's they're growing plants to uh well yeah produce to, to sell and also to feed the animals and the animals uh, are being sold directly as well as being turned in made like milk and meat and whatever else and that's also shipped out from there and there's a little uh, pedestrian bridge for the people that want to that live here these are this is again these are people that are uh, uneducated mostly it's designed for people that can go to work over here and there's buses that connect all this area this is an actual road that goes across. This is where the buses actually cross. And there's another one over here too. There's a lot of them, as you can see, a lot of bridges. This area over here, I'll get to in a second. This strip right here, I believe, is offices, right? Yeah, another pair building. A lot of offices in here. Um, and this area in here, I believe, is more offices. Yep, more offices in here. I really like this train track. It's a passenger train. You can see it comes around the city here and goes underground. Um, I actually, I worked really hard on getting this to look just the way I wanted it to. If you come down to ground level here, to what the citizens would see walking through the city, you can see there's that train right there descending. And I really like the way that looks. I just, I just, it, it really appeals to me. Um, yeah. So if we come over to the other side here by the university side, this is the, which I'll show off in a second. You can see across the university, that train elevated going across the city I think that looks really cool so right here there are two universities the first one is uh where's the trade school <laughs> oh it's over here yeah Springwood trade school um it's more of a uh less modern more uh just just functional I guess industrial looking buildings this is a school of engineering there's the administration a police academy commencement office um sts springwood trade school yeah so there's this area it's not the best design ever it's kind of it's in the middle of the city but this kind of a college works i think for that kind of a design it's just cutting through the middle of the city and i don't think they have any sports if i remember correctly there's a school tourism travel there's a museum the tech museum but if you go up here there is the Liberal Arts College, which is the same one that was on my uh, um, island, but this one was made first again because this map is older. Um, so there's the Liberal Arts College. There's all there's track and field and swimming. I think that's the only ones I did for this area. Uh, they have a blimp stop, which I think is pretty cool. You could take a blimp to school. How cool would that be? Um, and then, uh, yeah, so there's all the stuff over here. And then if you cross this little footbridge across the main highway, which I think is kind of crazy, but when you get over here, there's more schools. There's the School of Environmental Studies, which I thought would be really cool to have by the river. It makes sense. I also had a park nearby, outdoor study and stuff. So it'd be like, if you're in environmental studies, you can come outside, um, like even during class or after class or whatever, and study the river, study um, 
like the wildlife in the river and the parks and whatever. I'm not sure there'd be a whole lot of wildlife in this area of town, but some hopefully. And I could work on wording it more. As you can see, you can even go across here. I need to maybe go to the footbridge footpath that goes across here so they could also visit this kind of area easier. Um, right on the uh, drama club, right on the coast, so you can look out the window over the river, which is really cool. There's a fountain in the center. Dance club, art club, all that kind of stuff all on the river. I just think that kind of stuff looks really cool. And then this area was going to be residential. It hasn't been zoned out yet. There's another uh, area off the highway here. As you can see that the highway. Uh, there's a big clover leaf right here in the middle. And clover leaves are not all that efficient, but this has worked pretty well, it seems like. And then this is the mines, which is one of the newer projects I did because there's this darker ground. There's ore underneath here, or is it oil? It's ore. And uh, see this, the machines that are digging up the ore. This is not what they would look like in real life. It really doesn't match at all. And they, the machines look realistic, but there wouldn't be four of them lined up and with the buildings all around them like that. They need an area to dig out and make a big old like, quarry, big old pit. But anyway, there's this area here, and these guys aren't happy. They don't have a whole lot of workers, and that's why this residential area exists, both for the college and for people to work in the mining district. So that just never got made. Um... What's this? This looks like, uh, yeah, I was going to say, it looks like offices. Just a little tiny little office chunk right there. You can see there's, this is where I still wanted to build in the city. And once all that area is filled, I probably would stop. Just because the city is already pretty big. And I could make it even bigger. There's a nice little lake over here. And there's other areas I could expand to. I only used four chunks, and I think you can have nine by default. So I, I could expand it a lot further. Maybe down here would be a cool area to go next, but... This city already lags my computer a little bit, if you haven't noticed from the stream already. it uh, It's a lot. There's a lot going on here. But you can zoom out to this level, and it, and it might not look... I mean, I think it looks massive, but it's only when you get really close and you realize, like, how much is going on in a single city block here. Like, what's going on here? There's all these people down there. And that's all going on on every street. You zoom out and look at how much there is. It's pretty cool. Uh, even though it is a boring, just simple grid here. I'm so really happy with it.